My name is Peter Nierz. I'm an associate professor of political science here at McMaster. Uh, since 2004, I've been one of the instructors for Political Science 1G6, which is our Introduction to Politics and Government course. Uh, it's really the, the foundational or kind of touchstone uh, course uh, for our regular BA and our Honours BA uh, program here at McMaster. The assignments in Political Science 1G6 are based around essay writing and critical reading skills. We put a lot of emphasis in uh, teaching first-year students how to write a university-level uh, research essay, how to do the kind of uh, research that's going to provide the evidence to support your argument in this essay. And we think these are really important skills that are going to serve students well throughout their university career uh, and beyond. After all, uh, doing uh, research and uh, collecting the kind of evidence that's going to support your argument are sk basic skills that are going to serve you well, not just in upper level courses, uh, but in many fields and professions beyond the university, such as law, such as business, uh, government service, and so on. Political Science 1G6 is a large introductory course to politics, uh, but we, we try to give a, a, a smaller, more intimate seminar type setting uh, through our weekly tutorials. Now these tutorials are run by advanced graduate students in the Department of Political Science who are well skilled in the subject area and have a lot of good teaching skills on how to, to bring out uh, students uh, to participate, to discuss, to debate these fundamental ideas that we're talking about in class. The teaching assistants are also there to provide face-to-face -face contact uh, with students to provide them feedback on their, uh, their written assignments, uh, to help them prepare for the examinations and so forth. When I first joined the department in 2004, um, I was really eager to teach uh, the first year course. Many of my colleagues looked at me really strangely and said, why do you want to teach a large first year introductory course when you can be teaching fourth year seminars or graduate courses? Um, I was always surprised by this question because I really uh, in, in, am enthusiastic about teaching first year courses. Um, I find that first year students, whether they're just out of high school or they've come back to the university after working or uh, come back as uh, uh, mature students, I find first year students to be among the most enthusiastic, passionate and committed students on this campus. Certainly among the most enthusiastic, passionate and committed in terms of talking about basic political issues, debating fundamental political concepts, and having you know, wide-range discussions about what kind of political institutions or political processes should govern our lives. These are fundamental political problems that we discuss in this course. We talk about the nature of democracy, the nature of political representation, inequalities in the global political economy, uh, the nature of basic political concepts such as citizenship, state sovereignty, nationalism, and so forth. These are, these are issues that have been around with us for a long time. I mean, Plato and Aristotle thousands of years ago in ancient Greece debated many of these same issues. So, you know, I don't pretend to be Plato or Aristotle by any means, uh, but I do think we're participating in an ongoing conversation, debate and discussion about fundamental political ideas, the proper uh, political institutions that we should have, who should govern us, uh, uh, what kind of political system is most just, desirable, uh, for the 21st century. First year students bring uh, the most energy and enthusiasm and passion to questions about po politics, to questions about the uh, democracy, about the major political debates that are uh, are raging across uh, Canada and the world today. Um, so I really embraced the opportunity to, to teach uh, first year students and uh, have never really looked back.